Hey, this is Brooke Drum from PrinterBot, and I'm here with the Go Large, and you can see why it's called Large, right? So there's a few things I didn't cover in some of the other videos, and I wanted to just address real quickly. So the first thing is, if you were an, uh, a purchaser of one of these Go's before today, um, we actually set up the electronics a little bit differently for you. I got to thinking. So Octoprint is a host that lives on the Raspberry Pi, which is a little, uh, little computer, and it's like 35 bucks. So Octoprint is a great program, and we love it. But it is adding higher requirements for a beginner. So the, the cool thing about this, this printer here is you can run it right off the printer board, and it does have three extruders. You can see right here, there's three extruders and it requires the extruder board as well. So there's these two boards underneath. And then there's also a Raspberry Pi. Well, you guys have your hands full with three extruders. So what we're gonna do is from here on out, we're gonna set up these uh, Raspberry Pis and printer boards configured underneath, screwed into the holes in such a way that um, you don't have to use Octoprint, you don't have to use the Raspberry Pi if you don't want to because you've got this overhead of like, how do I connect to it? What browser does it run on? There's a lot of a lot of questions. So the video today is really about what is the fastest way to get to printing with the Go. And show me these electronics and how I can flip them around if I need to change the orientation that you shipped it to me with, okay? So it's kind of to lower the fear on that. All right, so this is the Go. Uh, the access to the electronics is underneath. So I'm just gonna tilt it up. And to get this bottom panel off, you can see it here. So there's this bottom panel, and it's got two like keyed tabs here. So this one is actually holding a piece of wood that's standing up for like a spacer. So I'm gonna remove this, this, and these two on the top real quick. These are really long screws here. It's good, and then these, the nuts will fall out. I'm just gonna let them fall out because I'm in a hurry, I'm doing a video. All right, this is a, like a finger hole that like pull up. See, I told you they fall. And this is the key at the bottom there. So this you can just put aside, you can see the long hole. So this is where the, the nuts will go in when you, when you put it all back together. All right, so this is what it looks like inside. Now, quick note, uh, we had a guy in Europe actually put the setting of, uh, you know, when you get a, a power supply, this is an ATX computer power supply from the US, um, it's using the 12 volts. Um, he didn't flip the switch, and so he plugged a, a 110 into a 220 and it blew up. I just wanted to show this. We did have to extend the wires um, for the six prong that goes to the, that little guy is the extruder board. And uh, so he can't just run out and buy a, a power supply. It won't reach, you know, unless you have one with extremely long wires. You can lengthen those yourself. You can contact us and we can see what we can do for you. But it is a long stretch from here to here. I even thought as I was getting ready for this video, man, why don't we just move that up closer so we don't have to do that. So maybe you'll see that later. So anyway, we've got the extruder board. That's the capability of taking a printer board and adding two uh, stepper drivers, two thermistors, two heaters for two more hot ends so that we're able to have three hot ends because of that extruder board. Normally the printer board has X, Y, Z and one extruder, right? So this is how it comes. Uh, Raspberry Pi is here. This is how it came to the first, uh, you know, 30 or so people that order to go. But I, I'm really thinking that I want to change that, and I'll show you why here in a second. So when you got, if you're one of those people, <clears throat> check this out, this is really confusing. This is what it looks like on the side of your, your bot. Well, that doesn't make any sense, because I can't, it looks like something's wrong. There's no USB port there. Okay, it says the printer board's behind there, that's true, uh, and there's no, SD card slot there, so what's wrong? Was it assembled wrong? Over on the back here. What, this looks wrong as well, right? Okay, well that was actually intentional. It was my bright idea. I take the credit. Blame. Um, but, now, uh, the guys, I just had nothing. 
Now we're gonna we're gonna ship it in a different orientation. We actually put the uh, the other. We actually put all of the screw holes for both of these to be oriented in another position. And the reason that I decided, no, let's ship it like this is because I hate cords hanging out outside the printer. Um, this USB here, I'm gonna unplug it. That's uh, the USB port on the Pi. This is the micro USB on the printer board. The way that I'm gonna set it up today is the way that we're gonna start shipping them. And that cord will have to be on the outside. The nice part about that is that you will be able to set your printer up plug it in, start printing. So I'm gonna switch it here. Anyway, so this was facing up. Now it's gonna face like this. See, now you can use those ports on the Raspberry Pi. And now I'm gonna flip this 180 degrees. Now it makes a lot of sense. These ports line up. So you got USB, you got SD card. And I thought it'd be fun. Now I haven't put the, the bottom back on, but I'm just gonna save the time. That's how to reconfigure your electronics to flip it around, flip around the Pi, flip around the printer board, and now we're going to move on to the next section of the video then. I'm going to show you a little something about your sensor that you may not know.